All right, Shalom, Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. <clears throat> Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. All right, this lesson I wanted to get into, man, is a response, um, response to uh, the AX Ministries, EX Ministries, okay, and um, <clears throat> they're, uh, you know, just responding to the the quote unquote black Hebrew Israelites, okay. We're not black; we're different shades of brown, okay. And I, you know, we don't know if they were set up or they're just truly innocent, uh, ignorant, man. But whatever the case may be, man, you know, this is the response video to the madness that they've been pulling out. So I'm going to play the clip, <clears throat> some of the clip. I don't know how much I want to play of it, but um, I'm going to play some of it and he's going to um, grab some scriptures as we go. <clears throat> Look, in the rapping. These Christians are dumb, man. Greetings. I'm G. Craig Lewis of EX Ministries, and we are here with another episode of The Exposition. Um, just to tell you a little bit about The Exposition, this is a show where we come together to just kind of discuss issues that we feel are important, um, that are affecting the body of Christ, hmm. given a biblical uh, well, point first of view, and foremost, as always, uh, everything we do at EX Ministries. First and foremost, uh, we want it to be rooted in the Word and in God's truth sound doctrine so we want to bring uh answers and different things uh <laughs> to you know to the to our audience uh with this exposition. well look at this guy hold on let me pause it uh people with me look at this guy okay the guy in the middle as you can see has a clean shaved bald head which is totally against the scriptures for one okay <clears throat> and uh we can prove that this is uh leviticus 19 and 27 it says, ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall y'all mar the corner of thy beards. And you can see uh, uh, the, guy on, the, the guy on the left, too, the Jake on the left, he's all marred up. Okay, he doesn't have a beard. Neither one of the men have a beard. Okay, and that's a requirement. Okay? <clears throat> Strike one. That are a part of this, this venture, uh, first of all, is... Jay Bryan, y'all know him as a rapper, y'all know him from the album Christian Rap Baby. Uh, like a cone to me. As our youth minister at uh, Adamant Believers Council. How you doing, Jay? I'm doing fine, Pastor. How are you, sir? I'm good. And then we have uh, Carmina Barnett, who is a gospel uh, music media mogul. Gotta have a nigga woman up there, right? She's a disc jockey, and she knows everybody, and she kind of does her thing on the radio. How you doing, Carmina? I'm good. All right, so... This is the exposition. This is our uh, second episode. And actually, today we will be dealing with uh, the black Hebrew Israelites. Uh, now, I'm going to stop right there. <clears throat> it says black. They're saying the black Hebrew Israelites. Now, first of all, when you go into the word black, it means void of light. It means negative, man. Okay? And we don't call ourselves black Hebrew Israelites. We call ourselves Hebrew Israelites because it's not a quote unquote so called black thing. It's a so called black Latino Native American thing, which is Hebrew Israelites. That's our, uh, our biblical nationality is Hebrew Israelites, not black Hebrew Israelites. That's just something that. Uh, Esau and, and uh, has, has added to the to the name, man. And these coons, <coughs> these coons out here, are are running with it, man. These Christians, that they, they're running with that black Hebrew Israelites when no one on the planet Earth is black, man. Different shades of brown, from a, a sandy beach brown to a, 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 a tan brown to a dark chocolate brown, man. Okay, as you can see on the screen. This brother, or this guy on the this Jake on the left, is a, a lighter complected, and then you got the uh, a, a brown, and then you have the uh, 
the other Jake woman on this side. Well, I ain't gonna call her a woman, but brute beast on this side. <clears throat> She's a darker shade of brown, man. <clears throat> As you can see, the guy in the middle has on black pants. <clears throat> so no one is, is the color black, man. All right? It's like a day goes by. Especially from pastors that are concerned about this this movement. Uh, I was gonna say new movement, but of course it's not new. Yeah, because they're concerned, man. Black, that uh, uh, Hebrews, look, uh, 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 Jake are, is waking up, leaving them churches, the man. Nation of Islam, uh, nations of gods and earths, the Rastafari. No, look, we're not gonna spin off of nothing, man. Okay. This is our nationality, Hebrew Israelites. This is not no spin off of no of no Muslims. Okay. All right, is this, this, we're not dealing with religion, man. We're dealing with law stat. Matter of fact, let me just get it. <clears throat> Since I'm already in Leviticus, this is Leviticus 26 and 46. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. That's right. So these are laws, statutes, and commandments, man. This is not no uh, religion. This ain't no uh, 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 false doctrine, okay? Here, a great millstone, man. We got the 100% hundred percent truth, man, okay? From the apostles and elders on down, man, okay? Law, statutes, and judgments was given to the children of Israel. Nowhere in the script, nowhere does it say black Hebrew Israelites. It says the children of Israel, man, okay? So... I'm going to finish it out. Leviticus 26 and 46 in Mount Sinai by the hands of Moses. <clears throat> so the Lord gave us as Hebrew Israelites law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. Not religion. Because that's what uh, Islam and all that nonsense he's going into is. What do you mean, Old Testament beliefs? What do you mean, Old Testament beliefs? You got to take the old with the new, man. I got to get that. I'm going to he uh, Hebrews. <clears throat> this is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. It says, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power. So the Old Testament and the New Testament is, 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 is one book. It all comes together. You can't take the Old Testament out and just and just roll with the New Testament. It don't it don't it don't work like that, man. Okay? When you read the scriptures, the uh, uh, the, the, the prophets in the New Testament Are constantly quoting From the Old Testament man That just goes to show That these coons don't even know What they're talking about man The Lord say he comes in the volume of the book N Not the Old Testament or the New Testament The volume of the book, the entire book man And uh, of course The morality of the Bible So uh Pastor G, can we do this? Can we give them a little history behind it? Okay. So let's do that. I want to read this because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Now, toward the end of the 19th century, a man named Frank Cherry claimed to receive a vision through which God told him to present the message that African Americans are the true descendants of the biblical Hebrews. Now, now first of all, not all African Americans are descendants of the of Hebrew Israelites. You got some tears among there, man. Okay, quote unquote African Americans who look like African Americans, but they 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 line may go back to a heathen man. It may go back to Esau, the so called white man. Okay, it may go back to a a a, a, a Arab. Okay, <clears throat> but the thing is, for the most part, all African Americans that came over here in slavery, okay, do go back to the children of Israel. Now, with that being said. This brute beast on the screen 
which many would consider a woman, should not even be teaching, man. But if you if you Christians knew anything about the scriptures, you would know this. But the thing is, you don't, man. This is a uh, First Timothy's chapter uh, two, verse twelve. Matter of fact. Matter of fact, I started nine. <clears throat> this is First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also that women adore themselves in modest apparel. Okay, you see she got jeans on. Okay. She don't have her head covered. Okay. It says with shame faceness. Look, got those big hoop earrings on. Those stock earrings. Okay. It says um with shame face and sobriety, not with boarded hair or gold. Or pearls with costly array. You see, she got the little bangles around her wrist. Okay, the, the big uh, hoop earrings. All right, she got jeans on. Okay, that's pertaining to a man. All right, it says, um, verse 10, 1 Timothy 2 and 10. But which becometh women, uh, I'm gonna jump down, verse 11. 1 Timothy 2 and 11. Let the woman learn in silence. With all subjection. So she's not even supposed to be opening her mouth, man. She's supposed to be learning in silence. Okay? With all subjection, man. And we go into our word, uh, uh, uh sub, sub, subjection. Sub meaning under, inject meaning rule, man. <clears throat> and she, she's just not up under any rule at all, man. It says, uh, verse 12. Here's a point I wanted to make. Uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to upset authority over the man, but be in silence. Once again, the black woman, you Israelite women, supposed to have your mouth shut, man. Especially in the churches, man. You know? I'm going to read it again. This is 1 Timothy 2 and 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach. And she's trying to teach right now, man. You know, she got a little tablet out. <coughs> You know, trying to go in to uh, 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 what she thinks uh, uh, the Hebrew Israelite movement started from. You know, it says, um, in order to absurd authority over the man. And, and that's that's heavy because when you go into uh, that word absurd authority, you know, the women out here are not supposed to be having any type of position of office or, or any type of power, you know. So, you know, uh, your, your judges, okay, your women judges, okay, uh, um, your police officers, women police officers, all that, man, is not supposed to be, man. Okay? Uh, let me play some more. Like, I, I don't want to make this too long, man. I mean, it just hit some points and then just wrap it up because they, you know, they're going to go into some nonsense. Eventually resulted in the establishment of the church of the living God, the pillar ground of truth for all nations, which was in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and that was around 1886. Now, another significant figure arose during this time, which was William S. Crowdy. And it was during this era of Rushing and the rise of Jim Crow that the prophet William Crowdy claimed to receive a revelation that African Americans were the descendants of the ancient Israelites. Now, after they are the ancient Israelites. Crowley founded the Church of God and Saints of Christ Church, and that was about 1896, and that was in Kansas. <clears throat> now, with that claim, the ten lost tribes of Israel were the ancestors ancestors of black people. So, well, that's, that's where they're going on, because the ten tribes represent the northern kingdom. You know, you have uh, um, the Latinos and the natives, man. You have uh, 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 the Puerto Ricans, so-called Puerto Ricans, Ephraim, Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, Gad, Reuben, the uh, Native Americans, and the Seminole Indians, okay, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, okay, um, and then, you know, other, other uh, of the indigenous uh, tribes down in South America, you know, <clears throat> but, um, you know, those represent the 10 tribes, man, the, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's of um, so-called um, uh, African-American and, and Indian descent, man. 
okay? It's not all so-called black tribes, man, okay? Now, Jay, <coughs> break it down a little bit more to make it more understandable. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So, what, what we want to talk about first is what they believe. So, the ancient Hebrews were black. This is what they believe. They believe that the ancient Hebrews were black and that African Americans are their descendants, okay? So, if, if you have any knowledge of or if you have any awareness of the Bible and the book of Jeremiah, um, they believe that it is seen as claiming black and ethnic features. So in Jeremiah 8, this is what they're using to support this claim, right? And also in Genesis 15, uh, they're interpreted as referring to African Americans who have suffered as slaves and simple class citizens under a strange people for more than 400 years. Now, going back to what you were saying earlier, Carmina. Uh, the, the well, look, we fit the curses, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans fit the curses of the Bible, man. No other nation fit those curses but us. And it's not a so-called black thing. It's a Hebrew-Israelite thing, man. Guy who helped lead this, this, false, this false claim, uh, Frank Cherry. He, he was the first man to receive the vision uh, about the heritage, heritage of blacks and Jews. He also taught that white people were descendants of the housing, uh, who was cursed with leprosy as a white. Leprosy, which they claim is as white as snow, right? So you can find this in like Second Kings uh, around five, chapter five. Look, man. They also claim they also claim that whites are also described as wicked, unrighteous, well, and rejectors of God. Yeah. Well, hey, they, they, hey, the scripture says that, man. You know, so called, because ain't nobody on this planet Earth white either, man. They're Edomites, man. Okay, and they are the wicked, man. You know, let's grab a a precept on that, man. Let's go to uh see which one we grab first. I think I'll go to Job. Uh this is the book of Job chapter 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And who run who, who who's ruling the earth right about now? The so-called white man. Okay? It says he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. That's right, man. They cover up the faces of of, of Lord Yahweh Shot, the Most High Yahweh, okay, Moses, okay. They change the faces of the judges, cause what? The Israelites are the judges, man. You know, they got everyone in the scriptures saying that it's, it's so-called white people when it's it's totally opposite, man. Okay. It's reads on um, Job nine and twenty-four. It says, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's right. You don't see the so-called uh, 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 Dot Head East Indians claiming to be uh, having putting uh, the Most High up in their image. You don't see the Hamites doing it, the so-called Africans doing it. Okay? You don't see uh, Moab. Okay? Who is it, man? It's Esau, the so-called white man. And he's also ruling the earth right about now, man. <clears throat> and here's another one for you. It says, uh, uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. That's right. So if this, the so-called white man was righteous, okay, it will, it will be peace, man. Okay, but he's not righteous, man. It says, um, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn, man. That's right. And the people are mourning right now, man. You know? You got, uh... No one, no one can uh, find uh, decent jobs. Okay, you can't. Um, you gotta work two and three jobs just to survive. You get eating poison food, uh, poison uh, air, water. Okay, you can't. You can't. You know, I cannot put it. You can't. Um, you can't run your household. Okay, the way you you should as an Israelite man. Okay, amongst many other things, man. Okay. So, I'm uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hang on. I'm gonna play a little bit more. All right. They go, also they believe that uh, their leader, I believe, is pronounced Ben Ami. Ben Ami yeah. contains that the anti-guy individual mentioned in Game Seven is spiritually. No, our leader is the Most High. You how about Shimmy? I was shot. Self-hatred. 
self-hatred. Are you, are you kidding me, man? You know, some of these Israelite groups do go off. Some of these Israelite groups do call themselves black Hebrew Israelites. But here at Great Millstone, we don't do that, man. Okay, we are Hebrew Israelites. Okay? Which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? I'm going to grab one more, man. Because this, this, I mean, you can go on and on, you know, listening to this nonsense. But I'm, I'm, I'm done listening to him, man. I'm going to grab one more precept before I close out. <coughs> this is, um... 2 Corinthians chapter, let me see, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3, and this is pretty much going to sum it up, man, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man, okay, you Christians, man, you don't understand the breakdowns of the Bible, man, okay, never have, okay, now you're going to have some of the elect come out of them, them them christian churches but other than that man hey look you you christians man look your time is up man okay you can't fool nobody with the scriptures of nothing no more man it's uh second corinthians 4 and 3 but if our gospel be hid the gospel which is the good news be hid it is hid to them that are lost so these three coons up here are lost man the most high you have by shimmy i was shy who the word of calls god and jesus christ is not dealing with them man okay it says, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Esau has blinded them, man. With that plantation Christianity, man. Okay? Because that's what these coons are coming with, man. Okay? It says, uh, least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them, man. So yeah, the light's not gonna shine unto them, man. Hey, look, y'all in the congregation of the dead, okay? These three up here are in the congregation of the of the dead, man. You know, going back to Proverbs, they that one out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. The Lord's not dealing with these Christian churches, man. You know. So with that, Lord Williams, edifying video. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone for teaching us this truth for going to the Bible and who rule well. Another shalom to all the sincere Akim, so at the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.